Sam here from Duracon Coffee and I'm here to show you how easy it is to make cold brew at home. We're going to use our kit that we sell in our cafe and online. Everything you need is right in this kit and it is so easy. So here's the kit out. I'm going to take the rubber stopper. I'm going to place it in the bottom. I'm going to put in a um, pre, I got this wet a little bit, um, filter, reusable filter in the bottom of there. We're going to add our paper filter into here and then we're going to take 10 ounces of your favorite coffee ground. Today we're using cherry cream and we're going to add the grounds right to the paper filter. Oh, that smells fantastic. Mm, set that aside. And then I have six cups of cold water that I'm going to pour right over the grounds to get the grounds wet. And we'll pour this in and hopefully I won't spill all over the place. And I'm just kind of turning this around a little bit as I pour so I could get all the grounds wet. There we go. We'll set this aside. Then I'm going to tie this off a little bit. I'm just going to twist it. You don't necessarily have to tie it at all. And I'm going to set it. We can set it on top of the decanter if you like. This can stay right on your counter um, overnight or 12 to 15 hours, we'll say. Um, or you could put it in your fridge, whatever you would like. So this is going to take, like I said, about 12 to 15 hours. So we'll let this steep. And then when we come back, we're going to enjoy some delicious cold brew. Hi, welcome back. It's been 15 hours since we um, started our cold brew method. Right now we have the grounds soaked, so I'm going to take these out. And you can go ahead and squeeze some of the liquid out of the grounds because you're going to want to get as much of the concentrate as you can. So while I'm squeezing that, I'm getting a lot out here. I'm just going to put the grounds into this bowl over here. Move this out of the way. I'm going to set this, I'm going to first remove, oh, look, there's a handle. I should use it. Remove the stopper from the bottom and set that on here. And I made a little bit of a mess, but we can wipe that. While that's draining into there, it'll take a little bit. We can add two to three cups of water, depending on the strength and how you like your cold brew. I have three cups, and I will go ahead and add three cups to that. And let that drain into our decanter. And while that drips, we'll take a little break and be right back. Hey everybody, back again. We have our finished product of cold brew. I have stored mine in my Door County Coffee growler, which is a perfect way to store your cold brew so you don't get it mixed up with any of your other beverages in your fridge. We sell these in our cafe and online. I have joined my friends and I have poured them all a cup, so now I'm gonna pour one for myself. Ooh, looks good. It looks fantastic. I'm actually going to use cream in my cold brew because that's how I drink my hot coffee. So you pour it in, it looks beautiful. Can't wait to give it a try. Yeah, you got I'm it. I'm gonna have a little bit too. I normally don't use cream, but in my cold brew, I love it. I do as well. Oh, perfect, look yeah. at that. Mm -hmm. I'm a straight up girl. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing gets in the way of my coffee. Well, I like it so many different ways that depending Ooh. on what I'm drinking, it's oh, the way I go. Cream it is bad. so bad. Thank you, Sam, oh, for sharing nice. with yes. us. Mm -hmm. Sam, thanks. Mm -hmm. You bet. Yeah. Did you guys know that cold brew is 65% less acidic than coffee that is brewed hot and then chilled. Really? So Excellent. That is, you know, that's that's even nice. That's smooth. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Such a yeah. Nice right. And thanks awesome. for showing us how to do it. I yeah. had no idea it was that easy. It is fast. so easy. So easy. And we have everything that you need. Perfect. In Excellent. our cafe and online. Cold brew. Coffee, coffee cheers. cheers.